Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. Benito snubs Trump, tells White House won't attend meeting, peso tumbles. By Tyler Durden. Things just got more complicated in U.S. Mexican relations. When on Thursday morning the feud between the U.S. and Mexico deepened after President Peña Nieto said he canceled a planned summit with Donald Trump over the U.S. president's insistence that Mexico pay for his proposed border wall between the two countries. This morning we have informed the White House that I will not go to the meeting scheduled for next Tuesday with POTUS, Enrique Peña Nieto tweeted in Spanish. The fresh deterioration in diplomatic relations between the U.S. and Mexico came after the U.S. president tweeted earlier on Thursday that if Mexico is unwilling to pay for the badly needed wall, then it would be better to cancel the upcoming meeting. The U.S. has a $60 billion trade deficit with Mexico. It has been a one-sided deal from the beginning of NAFTA with massive numbers of jobs and companies lost, Trump added on Twitter underlining his determination to renegotiate the North American Free Trade Agreement. Benito had initially resisted heavy domestic pressure to cancel the meeting with Mr. Trump. Mexican Foreign Minister Luis Vidgaray told local TV station Televisan on Wednesday for now, the meeting is still on. Instead, Mr. Vidgaray had sought to take the sting out of a potentially highly damaging diplomatic dispute highlighting some very encouraging signs from Mr. Trump and his team and an outstanding willingness to work together, despite what he said had been a day of contrasts. After cancelling his trip, Penanito added that he still wants to work with the U.S. and reach accords. Vicente Fox, the former Mexican president, stoked the flames in cruder terms in a series of tweets. Donald, don't be self-indulgent. Mexico has spoken. We will never ever pay for the hash F king wall, he tweeted on Thursday morning. And just like that NAFTA may be over. And the peso is plunging. With Vicente Fox whining that Mexico won't pay for the F king wall, and Benito confirming Mexico does not believe in walls, President Trump just double-tweeted exactly how our southern border friends will end up paying for the wall or else. Did Trump just give Benito an out for next week's meeting? We suspect not as the angry tweet seems to have cornered Penanito into a decision. As a result of the Trump tweet, the peso has tumbled erasing all the day's gains. The tweet comes after Mexico's president on Wednesday once again declared that Mexico will not pay for any wall but stopped short of cancelling a visit to Washington after Donald Trump signed executive orders that include building the border barrier. Enrique Penanito reiterated that Mexico would not put a single peso towards the new U.S. president's signature project. In a televised address he said, I regret and reject the decision of the U.S. to build the wall. I have said time and time again, Mexico will not pay for any wall, Penanito told the nation in his short video statement on Wednesday night. Mexico reaffirms its friendship with the people of the United States and its willingness to reach agreements with its government. He left up in the air the question of the 31st of January meeting with Trump in the White House, saying his decision would depend on an evaluation by a team already in Washington and officials at home. While the costs of building the wall are largely unknown, estimates have been made by both political parties. Mexico now finds itself in a double bind, squeezed not only by Trump, but also by its partner Canada, which as we reported last night, has left Mexico on its own. Recall that Canada will focus on preserving its U.S. trade ties during talks to renegotiate NAFTA and may not be able to help Mexico avoid being targeted by the Trump administration, Canadian government sources say. We love our Mexican friends. But our national interests come first and the friendship comes second, a source said on the sidelines of a cabinet retreat in Calgary, Alberta. The two are not mutually exclusive, the source added. In other words, when it comes to preserving NAFTA, it's important, but what is more important is being on good enough terms with Trump to be able to cobble together a bilateral treaty should NAFTA fail. As Reuters reports, the comments are some of the starkest yet by Canadian officials, who are increasingly convinced Mexico will suffer the most damage from changes to the North American Free Trade Agreement.
Reuters government sources note Mexico and Canada would appear to have little in common. Trump is unhappy about the large U.S. deficit with Mexico and has promised to punish firms with manufacturing bases there. Our negotiating positions are totally different. Mexico is being hung out of an skyscraper window by its feet, said a second government source. Mexico is in a terrible, terrible position. We are not, said another Canadian person involved on the trade file. Nito just may have to pay for that wall after all. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.